Today's episode of Film Rides brought to you by Domain.com and Netflix. Today on Film Ride, we dive further into the production of Tell, and later we get Super 8 Millimeter. Welcome to Film Ride, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley. So right off the bat, I'll say, hey guys, how you doing? Good. Good. I'm glad to hear it. So since we started the production of Tell, there have been a few questions that a lot of you have asked. So we're going to crack open a few of these most popular questions right now. And one, and a two, and a... And the first question is... Why did you go with the XLH1 over the Canon 5D? I did explain this in an episode a few months back, but since it's more relevant now, I figured, hey, why not reiterate? When in pre-production, I tested out a few cameras, including the Sony EX3, the Canon 5D, and the Canon XLH1. For this short film, I didn't want a really clean or overly digital feel, and I found that both the EX3 and the 5D produced a very clean image, which is great, but not perfect for tell. So then I tested the XLH1, which had a really nice, almost filmic grain to it and more of a grit to the image right in camera. So I grabbed my Lettuce Direct Elite lens adapter, which allows me to put photography lenses on the front and get a shallower depth of field. And if you want to check out their lens adapters, go here. They're the best out there. So check out our website. Next question. What are all the extra things on the camera and the best thing you wear? Well, like I said already, the device on the front of the camera is the lens adapter. Below that, you have the support rods for the lens adapter. This keeps the weight off the front of the camera's lens to prevent damage. The camera stabilization system is a steady camera. You can think of it as a dolly attached to your body. The idea is for the shocks that come off the vest to absorb all the movement so that the camera can move fluidly as you walk or run, whatever. So it's kind of like handheld shot and a dolly shot met and we're like, I like you. And it was like, I like you. And then they made a baby. Steadicam rig. Now the way you see me using the Steadicam in a lot of these shots is not the proper way to operate a Steadicam. But since I'm acting as my own focus pooler as well and without a follow focus system, I had to improvise. But that's always the case with no budget stuff. You really have to be like the MacGyver of filmmaking. Because you're gonna make stuff with bubble gum and I don't know paper and popsicle sticks. But Steadicam is uh, really hard to operate even still. A lot of people specialize in just that. That's all they do. They don't run camera normally. They just come in to operate Steadicam and they get paid like 1500 bucks a day and up. It's crazy. So make that a lesson to you. Stay in school and learn to operate a Steadicam really well. When will Tell be coming out? My answer to this one is that I don't have an answer to this one. Since it's so low budget and being worked on between my other productions, like this one, it is going to take much longer than it normally would have if I would have been focused 100% on it. But if you want to be kept up to date with news like that and other things all tell related, like extra behind the scenes photography, which we've been posting every week, and uh, other video, extra video features from Tell, which will be coming out soon, check out our Train Films Facebook at this link. You can go here and it'll be our Train Films Facebook. See how that works? That makes sense, right? Tell the people. It works. How will we see tell? This is another question that I do not have a definite answer for. I've only added these last two questions because they've been asked a crap load of times. I'm working on what the best method of release would be. More than likely, we'll have something to do with some kind of online streaming release. And then maybe a bit down the road, we'll do some DVDs and Blu-rays, which would have some extra goodies on it for you to partake in with your eyes. But it's all up in the air right now. And again, I'll keep you guys posted here. This is where the news will be released on Tell first, all the times -y. So if you wanna know before anybody else, right here. But we'll also announce it from the show as well. But that was our last question, which for whatever reason reminds me of two production tips I forgot to give you guys in the first Tell episode. If you have no budget or a super low budget, most of your cast and crew, if not all of your cast and crew, will be working without pay. So one thing you want to be sure to do is to feed your people's belly sacks. You'll be surprised how much a good meal will really pick up spirits and reward your crew. They are all doing you a big favor, so a well-planned meal for them will show them that you're thinking about them and appreciate what they're doing for you. Over the course of all the productions that I have done, I've had to ask my actors to do everything from mildly dangerous to uncomfortable 
and even embarrassing. And for me, it's always been really important to never ask my actors or actresses to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. And usually, I'll try it out first in front of them to show them that. So for tell, my actress was a bit nervous about putting this liquid in her eyes that would make it look like the inside of her eye was bleeding. So, I gave it a shot first to show her that I would do it and that it was perfectly safe. And that's another thing that'll go a really long way with your cast. It shows them that you're on their side and looking out for their best interests and not just putting them in front of trucks to be crushed like an ant for the sake of your filmsies. And that's the end of my two tips, but now, as we've been doing for the past few weeks, here's a look at day four of production on tell. For continuity purposes, we're trying to match this with what we shot two or three weekends ago. With this right here. Tune, bro. This is, this should be, if you're making a short film, especially DPing, this is what should be happening. Flashlight, very important, especially if you want to clean your lens. Is that a scratch or a hair? Leatherman, this is one of the most fantastic things you could possibly get. Then you have a light meter. This is a Sakonic <laughs> Studio Deluxe 2. Could actually get it off eBay for like 50 bucks. A little pouchy, a little pouch for all the miscellaneous crap. Cut, good. That was much better. Your grass is itchy. F you! Netflix delivers movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. Instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV via Netflix-ready devices like PS3, Xbox 360, and the Nintendo Wii console. As a new member and a Film Riot viewer, you get a free trial membership by going to netflix.com forward slash Film Riot and signing up now. Be sure to use this URL so they know that we sent you. And we continue to do the show. And you continue to watch it. Right? Right, Josh? Someone involved. Right, buddy. Oh, there it is. Logo. So in case you don't watch any of our shows or you live under a rock, J.J. Abrams' Super 8 is out as of June 10th, which I am enormously excited about and will be seeing it like ASAP soon right away -ness. Now with that in mind, I have been asked a ton of times how to create a Super 8 sort of look and what better time to crack that out than to celebrate the release of this awesome summer blockbuster of delight. Now there are many different types of 8mm looks depending on the camera and era. But we were going for an old 70s-ish dirty 8mm look and wanted to come up with an easy way to do this that wouldn't need any extra plugins and would not be render heavy in the end. Why? Because we we're offering the project file as a free download for you guys to snatch up. So all you have to do is jump over to our Facebook page at this link here, download the 8mm package we have for you, which includes the project file and all assets needed. To use our project, all you need to do is open the file, then select the After Effects file. Now import your footage, then hold Command, or on a PC, hold Control, and select these three bottom files, red, blue, and green. Next hold Alt, then click and drag your video over top of these videos, then release the mouse button while still holding Alt. This will replace these three files with your video and BAM! You have fake 8mm footage. Now you may need to adjust the size of your clip, so just highlight them all again, hit S, and adjust as needed. 
But now look at that. You're in the 70s, eight millimeter style or 60s. I don't know, whatever that era would be. Can you see me? In case you missed it last month, we're really excited about our new sponsor, Domain.com. They're big fans of FilmRite and want to tell you about .tv, which is the perfect domain name for you to start your online video site. After all, who needs television when you've got .tv? What it means is that if you're making a video of any kind and you want to show it off on the web, a .tv domain name is what you need. With .tv websites, you control your content and look more professional than just having a YouTube channel. Want to showcase your work? Get seen on .tv. Now here's what you need to do. Just go to domain.com and search for the perfect .tv domain for your website. Then use coupon code FILMRIGHT at checkout to save an extra 15%. Then if you need to host your website, check out Domain.com's hosting plans. They're less than six bucks a month and have everything you need to maintain and promote your site. Remember, when you think domains, think Domain.com. You got an idea? It all starts with a great domain. That's the thatty that that, my daughters. But um, hey, come back next week when we'll be discussing all the different jobs that we have on the set of Tell and something else fun. Oh, the fun. But until then, my Twitter, Film State's Facebook page and the Triune Facebook page for all the super cool hell extras. Super cool. Super duper cool. But I'll see you guys next week when I find a lamp which holds a genie that is a terrible actor but a great basketball player. From this side. Oh, this is Michael Bay right here. No, it's almost like Michael Bay. Yeah. And I can just like slowly get it. No, you gotta be getting up in slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> It's a romantic comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like for dinner? <laughs> a plus, a plus, a plus, a plus for us, do you think? Uh, uh, think. Minus? A plus? Three thumbs up. Five okay. thumbs up. Five. It's five o'clock in the morning. We've been shooting all night. Everyone is very tired.